All right, guys, so I'm going to just hit this up real quick for y'all. Remember when I said that the uh, those orbs in the sky that you guys keep calling sun dogs and stuff like that and uh, halos around the sun? And I said you guys are looking through these uh, electromagnetic fields of these invisible orbs. They're not really invisible. They're just super see-through ultra see-through microsoft if i don't know something like that just the the idea of what it is is it's some type of uh entity spear up in the sky and there's a lot of them plenty of them and i said those are closely related to no one no one is saying this i have been told in my in my my consciousness what I've been told from studying them over the years on my own with no one, no degree, is that those things are closest related to sunspots on the sun, but they're here on Earth. And this is what, tell me, does this, you know how sunspots have filaments, uh, magnetic, electromagnetic filaments that uh, disrupt and discharge off of the surface of the sun? causing uh, coronal mass e ejections. Check this out. Tell me what does this move like? This is an orb that's invisible that you can't really see the orb, but you are seeing it. I said that it magnifies light, it traps light, and it can amplify light or something like that. And bend light by the electromagnetic fields. It has multiple fields, like three layer, three fields, three spears as one. Like there's like an Omnicron feel in the middle, almost like a balloon inside a balloon, but this it's invisible. Check this out. I don't think any of y'all have seen this before. The weirdness of this dance in the sky, I don't even know what it is. Check this video. I don't think any of y'all have seen this before. The weirdness of this dance So does this move like a filament in the sun like a, a filament that's connected to a sunspot you see how it moves you don't I'm I see the orb I know that the orb is there that's inside of the orb that light you see that's the magnetic field moving around it's like uh, maybe changing dimensions because it's becoming diametrically opposed with a another field another orb that's coming in con in close proximity to it and and that's how uh, that's how filaments are released off of the surface of the Sun when they become unstably charged by opposing fields magnetic fields of umbras and orbs gamma uh, beta gamma and alpha um, sunspots they have magnetic fields electromagnetic fields in them and that's what I was trying to tell you so pretty much I don't know if I took a picture of it did I take a picture All right, yeah, I think I took a picture. This is sort of kind of picture. Let me see. Did I take a better picture? Did I take a better picture? Uh, not really. Here, let me just go to it real quick. I can just reference it real quick. I'm gonna show you what a sunspot looks like. So what was that, 143? Suspicious of Sunspot series. All right, so they're they're telling you about sunspots, and their classifications. Okay. So these right here, material, those loops, this right here, 
is a negative and positive, but that's one sunspot. He's a gamma or alpha when they're two, beta when they're one, and then gamma when there's, I think, like two sunspot, like two or more or something like that, or three or something like that. Okay? But these, the, the red and the blue, are magnetic fields. Okay? Negative and positive. And when they come in close proximity with each other, there is a filament starts to build. And they're kind of like connected like a network across the face and surface of the sun. Because above the equator of the sun, the, the red and the blue uh, poles Char positive and negative charges of the sunspots are facing east and west um, negative and positive and then on the southern side of the equator of the sun it's west and east negative and positive so when they go across each other around the equator the filaments can release and cause massive uh, plasma release off of the surface of the sun and what I'm saying is that is essentially what we're looking at oh yeah I was supposed to show you what it looks like my bad alright show you what it looks like when these light loops from previous episodes filaments the release lapped up from the surface in perfectly smooth arches and came back down as smoothly as they rose the strongest and most visible of those loops connect to sunspots, directly to sunspots, in and out of the very center of the dark sunspot, known as umbra. The intermediate region surrounding that dark central sunspot umbra is called the penumbra. The penumbra. A magnetic phenomenon that we are seeing in new ways thanks to the iris satellite. Those loops are actually magnetic fields that contain plasma, charged particles, and probably much of the rest of that solar wind material. Those loops only connect and opposite magnetized sunspots or those having opposite polar force. The SDO satellite can show us when the sunspot is positive or negative, red. Loops come out one sunspot and dive down into one of the opposite charge. It makes perfect sense. The charged particles are moving in maintained currents, so one side must be positive and the other must be negative. Now let's zoom out. Here are the arcs, connected to one red and one blue sunspot umbra. A point of interest, the imager that detects the polarity of sunspots is measuring pure neutral iron atoms. It's also interesting to note just how high off the solar surface these arcs tend to go learn a bit more about Iris. Thousands watched as she released, fired, and took off for the stars to do its duty. After all the years from fully understanding what we can now see, the race to know our star is on. For example, there are known energetic os- Alright. So, I want to see the plasma release real quick. Filament Plasma release. Bear with me here on these commercials. My bad. So what they're not telling you is, is that that 
plasma release that just came off the surface of the sun, that dark stuff, and then went into the dark side of the, the, the space near where the earth is at, right here in the middle. So right there where the earth, where they put the earth at, it says earth size, there's actually an orb, a huge orb there, right there. And it has, is having a, a electromagnetic buildup and filament transfer from the sun to it, giving it energy. Um, that's just one of the things that I that they're not telling us. See how it's going straight up into a focused spot that looks like almost like a pyramid or a triangle off the top of the sun? It's because that's a freaking, that's a hole, like a pole of a, like if they say the earth is round and they say the earth has a pole at the top and a pole at the south and it's supposed to be hollow at the, at the pole, well, the hollow part of the pole of that orb, it's getting, it's sucking right into the hollow part of that orb. And that would be the negative or positive side of that orb that it's getting sucked into. Until the orb finally backdrafts into outer space. Or outer atmosphere. Outer sun orbit. Outer solar orbit, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much what I was showing you. What these people are trying to figure out. Right here. That what in the hot turf connects and jam is this? All right, so this right here is an orb. It's an Earth spot in the sky, just like there's sunspots on the surface of the sun. This is what this is on Earth. And when the sun gets in low horizon behind one of these things, you will see a halo around the sun and like a dark, uh, a dark corona around the sun inside of the halo also. Because this is like a magnifying glass. And not only that, it, this absorbs not only light, and manipulates light, but it's a magnetic, electromagnetic field, filament release. It also manipulates all types of elements, rain, snow, wind, fire, dust, it don't matter, everything. This, These things control a lot of the weather. Now, I, yeah, I can see it clear as day I know exactly what I'm looking at you see you know how like when a plane when an airplane goes sonic uh, speed and all of a sudden that cone when it breaks the sound barrier that cone appears in front of it that's pretty much what this is because this orb is spinning so fast okay so it's literally creating like a sound wave the sound barrier is being broken near within conf within the confines of the two chambers of its electromagnetic field because i said it has it's like a, a circle within a circle a wheel within a wheel and they have two fields and they like they create some weird forces they can manipulate all type of forces and I would not be surprised if this thing can shoot down fire out of the sky. I would not be surprised. Like I said, these things are literally what you're looking at on the... See, let me show you what a sun dog... Because when, when, Mr. MBB33 be showing these things all day. 
and he don't really see what I see and know about these things. Go down to Mr. MBB. Where you at? Here you go. He's always got the, every show he's gonna show you about one of these orbs. If you ever feel anxious, depressed, and he don't know what he just keeps. He gives you the scientific write-off explanation. Oh, it's just a sun dog or ice crystals creating a, a prism refraction reaction with the solar light, swamp gas type shit. Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Over here at NC Web, we're looking at a map of the current wildfires out here in the western. Are part of that onshore movement. The cloud cover, all of these clouds are being influenced by Hurricane K. You can see some color up there in the sky. Oh, yeah. In the middle of the hurricane would be one of those orbs. That's just plain and simple. I'm just letting you know that right now. In the middle of a tornado, tornado is one of them orbs. Trust me. Please believe. Ain't nobody ever told you that, but I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. And looking back at that video, I went back and checked it. Sure enough, you guys were correct. I did indeed say November. And at the time I was reading the, the Schumann Resonance graph, I happened to glance down and I noticed these photos I had down here on my desktop. And this is something that I'm currently working on. And it Okay, so you see this photo right here? All right, you see how that the, the light prism is all these rainbows and halos around the sun? That's because the sun is shining directly in the middle of one of those orbs. And those orbs are diametrically opposed in magnetic field when they get around each other. So the light will magnify at connection points circuitry points between the orbs and that's what you're looking at the orbs always make see how in the very center of the screen not where the sun is at but above the sun see how I said there's a dark halo around the sun like in the a dark corona around the sun with the with the that uh above that right at the crest at the top at the apex see how it makes like a eye symbol like a like an eyelid that's closed or an eye a eyelid right so when even the clouds it makes like a disc shape see how it's like a disc but it's also also like an eye even the cloud, whenever you're looking up in the sky, you'll always see the clouds bowl, make a bowl like that. They'll, they'll bowl down like there's a, like, like, you know how like if you have a trampoline and if you set like a bowling ball in the middle of it and it'll bowl down in the middle. And they say that that's kind of how like black holes and space works and black dark matter and all that mess. They say space is like a blanket and then there's like, gravitational bowls in it that cause everything to go in certain directions well essentially that's what this is with an electromagnetic field and it's pretty much invisible now yeah man like this is what you're looking at right there you're looking at what I've been explaining the whole time the sunspots but that's here on earth that's in in our atmosphere that is this it's not some damn ice crystals a house or a laptop which one do you think is worth more well definitely not the house because it not only cost it's that and it's like a filament release. But it's 
See how it kind of gets dark around it? I'm telling you. Alright, and the way it moves like that, think about how if you try to put a magnet near another magnet, how if, you, if the magnet is laying down, it'll like flip and move really sudden, really fast, but very subtle. You know what I mean? Fast, but subtle. Like, it'll move fast with authority, but it won't go far. It'll just spin fast and stick there because the field will trap it from... It won't keep its momentum when it spins because the other side of the pole will come around and cause it to to, to suspend in the middle of its tumble. Well, that's what you're looking at this at. The light is, is showing that. It's showing that. That's what you're looking at. Okay? Okay. All right. So that's exactly what I was saying about the sun. What you're looking at is sunspots. Today we're going to answer a couple of your questions submitted through our contact form and go over a seven-part series on how solar climate forcing works. A good introduction. Good evening, folks. Tonight we're going to answer a question about the invasion of the land by the oceans, the great tsunamis from the Earth. And I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. This is just a little bit of what I focus on. And early in the morning, I'm up every day with this. Been doing it for about... 10 years now. I don't go to school, but I do study. Good morning, folks. We've got excellent journal articles today. A bit active, it was the collapse and shift variety rather than the eruptive variety. Corona holes so, confined to the polar regions. You see how you see the light on the surface of the sun is amplified where the sunspots would be and they move the way the light moves is because of the electromagnetic fields becoming diametrically opposed and extending and shifting. And you still have other filaments to watch in a fair number of sunspot groups. And that's exactly what you were seeing. That's exactly what you're seeing. right there but on earth I don't even know what it is check this video so you're not seeing the same exact elements at work but you are seeing the catalyst what causes that the angel in the sun what causes that the angel in the sky you're looking at angels you don't see them but you can see the light the light reveals them that's just and, and the shapes the feng shui of the clouds are moving around them even the birds get caught up high into the sky in their fields I've seen it little small birds be mile up <laughs> and I'm talking like bunches, thousands of them, just mile up, just in a circle, going around in a ball. And you'd be like, what the heck is up there? Like, there, ain't, there can't be no food up there, I don't think. Like, they're just up there having a good old time, like hamsters in a wheel. It's funny. And they play around like this light is playing around up there inside of it. That's how they play around. They just be up there. See eagles, you'd be like, what's what, what's attracting them up there? Well, we know pigeons 
are uh, able to find their way home because they have an inner magnetic compass or something like that. Who knows? Maybe they can see this. I don't know, man. If I can see it, you know, I just been paying attention though. Like I, I'm, my life is dedicated towards answering questions. If I got questions. I may not give you the answer today, but when I find the answer, if it's a good enough question, I'll give you some real good details. I'll let you know the devil is in the details. They doing something. I'm not, this, hey, at the end of the day, he said, man, pray, man, pray, pray for forgiveness, repent, and be thankful. And I'm out. To the Rabbah Ahaya Hakadesh. To the Rabbah Yeshaya Hakadesh. To the Rabbah Ra Hakadesh. To the Rabbah.